the way I kind of see it is it's a framework for how to think effectively, right. And how to live effectively. And so in that way, you can kind of, it's kind of like a chameleon philosophy, really. Like you can, you can place it over the top of your Christianity and say, yes, I am a Christian, but at the same time I follow many stoic principles or, um, you know, you can place it at, like, I know that uh, I just spoke with Kai Whiting and, um, you know, he uses uh, traditions from the, the Islamic culture um, alongside his stoicism as a practice in stoicism. Like, uh, and, and so there's, there's so many ways that you can fit it into your life. Right. And, and that kind of makes it appealing to, to as many people as possible, really. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and people will take different things from it as well. So, mm. I mean, that's the other thing that's quite striking about this revival of interest in stoicism that, there are a number of different sort of subcultures where people are, are drawing on different elements. Some people are, are really stressing the environmentalism. Some people are really stressing the um, sort of deal with adversity side of things. Mm. Um, so um, people are finding very different things um, to take away from it. Um, I had a really interesting discussion with someone um, at work a, a month or two back. Um, and she said that the thing that really struck her about stoicism was the idea that some things aren't in your control and as a mm. consequence it's not your fault right yeah. um your life isn't your fault yeah um things will just happen to you and they're not down to you and she found that really refreshing um in contrast to the kind of story that she's constant fed you if you're not successful and rich and happy it's all down to you right mm. it's it's all, you should be able to achieve all of these things. And if you don't, it's because you've not worked hard enough. You've not given it your all. Um, and it's all your fault if you haven't got what you want. As a kind of sort of, you know, one of the sort of um, implicit ideas that we're fed through sort of, you know, Western mm. capitalism, right? If you just try hard enough, you'll succeed. And the thought that, you know, it's not all your fault because it's all out of your control. Um, mm. you're just this finite being with a limited amount of control over the external world and you can do your best. Um, but of course you're not going to be able to control these vast forces that are shaping your life. Mm. But the one thing you can control is, is your attitude towards it. She found that incredibly, um, liberating. Mm. 